Welcome to one of the best neighborhoods for families. If you're looking for a superior lifestyle for your kids with nature just at your doorstep, this is the right place. I can't wait to tell you all about it. We're starting right now. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Litvak Joseph, top 10% of realtors here in Greater Vancouver area. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I have a new video. In this channel, we're focusing on touring neighborhoods and telling you everything about what's best around Vancouver. In today's video, we're focusing on Burke Mountain community. Mount Burke is a mountain located in North Coquitlam, British Columbia. North of Port Coquitlam, on the ridge system leading to Coquitlam Mountain. A 10 minute drive to the local SkyTrain, which also has the West Coast Express, and a 45 minute drive to Vancouver, this growing community offers the kind of lifestyle that might seem too good to be true those days in Metro Vancouver. On the southern slope of Burke Mountain, new suburbs are being created and expanded. The area is supposed to house over 30,000 people when it's completed. Families, professionals and empty nesters looking for a walkable neighborhood, village setting, nature on their doorstep and access to transit and urban services can stop their search on Coquitlam's Burke Mountain. The mountain offers many type of homes, including estate residences, large single family, small single family, row homes and traditional townhomes leading the way for a multifamily housing suitable for all stages of life here. A typical day for a Burke Mountain resident could involve waking up to stunning views, walking to the nearby mountain village for groceries in the morning, mountain biking at nearby Pinecone Burke Provincial Park, or just have beer on the patio as the sun goes down. Urban professionals may find themselves biking to the SkyTrain in the morning, taking a class at the community center after work, then digging into the farm-to-table meal in the village. Families could opt to park the car and strap on walking shoes and bike helmets to get to nearby schools, parks and amenities via the extensive trail network. My favorite thing about Burke Mountain is the community parks. Burke Mountain Pioneer Park is located at 3000 Highland Drive and is 4.4 acres community park intended to help create a sense of community on Burke Mountain and provide a focal point for socializing as well as children's play area and recreation. There are games table, open lawn area for picnicking and informal play activities, community garden, full-size sports court, including a basketball and hockey nets. I love Harper Park. This park is located in the Smiling Creek community and it's a 10.8 acres in its size. It retains much of the existing forest while adding features that allow the passive enjoyment of the space. It's including 620 meters of trails, a wooden pedestrian bridge over Smiling Creek, sitting areas, rest areas, picnic tables, interruptive signs and other elements throughout the site. Talking about the schools, this is the Smiling Creek Elementary School and it's currently the only elementary school that's servicing Burke Mountain community. Another school is under construction and it's being the Sheffield School, which will be located right here. In several years, this area will be the area for the middle school and for the secondary school and will service all Burke Mountain. Currently, the secondary school that service in Burke Mountain is located in this neighborhood and is called the Terry Fox Secondary School. Burke Mountain has several neighborhood parks which are so wonderful for kids. Number one is the Galway Park. 
Galloway is one of Berks Mountain's newest park and has played host to several large community events. The facilities are family friendly with spray park, sports court, playground, picnic benches and a little free library. One of my favorite parks is Victoria Park. Victoria Park has a beautiful green space with sport fields and playground. It's recently completed a full makeover and includes an updated playground, sports course, skate park and fenced-in soccer field. The amazing Queenstone Park is open. That main park includes the open lounge, sports court and adventure slope play area that makes the most of local site conditions, integrating play spaces for both tots and youth. Real estate on Burke Mountain offers many types of housing. For example, detached village style homes at around 3,200 square feet or more, starting at 1.2 million. Large detached homes go up to 2.2 million and estate properties go up to 3.5 million. The median price for detached homes is 1.6 million. Townhouses and row houses start at about 680,000. For approximately 1,400 square feet, three bedroom or four bedrooms. They go all the way up to 1.2 million for luxury, fully loaded 2,600 square feet, four bedroom townhouses. The median price for townhouses here is 950,000. Park Ridge Estates is located right here. It is a 90s development cut into the side of Burke Mountain and north of the River Springs community. It enjoys many of the same parks as Burke Mountain, including forest and hiking trails, particularly outside of your doorstep. Here you are within walking distance or just a short drive to Coquitlam's town center. There is a 7-Eleven right here, a little mall with shoppers, drug mart and restaurants. You're within walking distance or just a short drive to Coquitlam's Town Center Park, which has a small man-made lake, walking trails, tennis courts, basketball, different parks, big playground, football and soccer fields. And if you're an outdoorsy, you're going to love this area. Transit in the immediate neighborhood is still fairly limited. However, a bus service da servicing David Avenue goes straight to Coquitlam Station. From Coquitlam Station, it will take you anywhere and everywhere you need, including throughout Coquitlam, Port Moody and Burnaby. If you were to travel to Vancouver, from Burke Mountain, you would take Coast Meridian all the way down, connect to the highway and travel 40 minutes. Or you can go on David and connect to Lowhead Highway here, go all the way down and connect to Highway 1 to Vancouver. Another way is to take the way along the Fraser River. In any case, it will take you about 40 to 45 minute drive. Properties at Park Ridge Estates are usually at least 6,500 square feet in land and about 3,500 square feet or more for the actual house with a secondary suite. Prices are ranging from 1.2 to 1.6 million. Are you considering moving to Burke Mountain? 
click the link below and customize your own insider's report about everything that's happening around it. If you are relocating from a different province or a different country, I have a fantastic relocation guide down below. Click the link and download it for free. If you like this video, you're gonna love my other videos. Hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments where you're coming from and which area you loved most about Burke Mountain.